Hello everyone, welcome to our video. This is Team 6 of 156B Spring Quarter 2010. My name is Richard Driscoll. I'm Zach Salen. I'm Dexter Flores. Josh Wu. And I'm Ali Kavodi. Alright, so now I'm going to talk about the problem that our device addresses. 1 in 10 neonates are born premature or with complications, and immediate resuscitation is often required. The heartbeat is the key physiological metric to tell whether or not this resuscitation is working. But current methods are subject to human error, non-instantaneous, or non-continuous. The objective of our project is to visually indicate the heart rate of the neonate within this blackout period. We wanted to instant instantaneous work on application, filter out the noise, wirelessly be powered, and not impede the workspace of the doctors during the resuscitation effort. So this is the STT1028K sensor by MSI Incorporated. It's a thin film piezoelectric sensor, which means that when it senses a disturbance or a motion, it creates a small electric current. We've placed it inside of our model uh, with a small silicon pad that, that provides a compliant backing. So this allows uh, greater sensitivity to the umbilical pulsation. This is our filter amplifier circuit. Its purpose is to amplify the signal by a gain of 20 and filter it with a cutoff frequency of 12 to 13 hertz. It can be powered by a current of 100 microamps and uh, two button cell batteries that are 3.3 uh, volts. And as you can see, this is our fabricated uh, layout without any of the components. And this is the SMT board with the components. Uh, and also, this is the first SMT part made for MA156B. So along with our filtering, uh, we also have now is our microcontroller. Our microcontroller is a 10-bit uh, analog to digital converter capability, and then it is powered over here, as you can see, with, uh, power, uh, with a voltage supply of uh, 3 volts. And then with that as well, we have our LED here, and which is to signify the heartbeat detected when it is converted from the analog signal. And then from there, uh, the analog signal is inputted actually into these two leads here, and which run into the microcontroller and then is converted and then outputted here to the LED. And this is all used with uh, also a peak tech type of program, which is uh, inputted into the JTAG interface here, which comes from the computer, programmed and in accepted into the JTAG interface, and then allowed to run with our microcontroller. So this is the, um, the final component of our device, which is the, uh, the housing. It was constructed uh, purely in, in SOLIDWORKS as a, a computer-aided model, and then it was translated and printed on our in-house 3D uh, dimension printer. And uh, as you can see, some of the components are um, snap-fitted in and have uh, <coughs> are interchangeable. And uh, this is the uncut torsion spring we're using to keep the device clamped together. To experimentally test our device we developed this um, experimental testing model which simulates the heartbeat of, uh, of a neonate in the umbilical cord. What it is is a lever driven by a, a cam and roller follower powered by a geared motor and with every turn of the motor the lever is put down and a signal is transduced. So here is a, a demonstration of our device working. The LED is flashing in correspondence with uh, the transduced signal within the mock and vocal cord. And as you can see, as I shake the, the, the device, there's no noise amplification or noise generation in the LED. And it's simply the cause of the filter and amplifier filtering the signal.